All right, we are back. And today we have another visit from Ryan Reed. What's up, Ryan? What's going on, Jason? How are you doing? I'm doing well, man. It's been a crazy week, though. Like, lots going on. Super swamped. I hear you guys are, are, are totally swamped, too. We had to, I mean, last week, we had to kind of postpone and push forward. So, you're probably... Yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes when the uh, the work of personal injury is so onerous and time-consuming, that Facebook has to take a back seat or social media in general has to take a back seat. <laughs> yeah, I think... That's a good thing, though. That's a very good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not content creators, right? Yeah. By career, we're you, not we. Your guys are. You guys are lawyers. <laughs> I'm. I'm the side seat. I'm the Robin, the sidecar, the sidecar mm -hmm. guy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, the being lawyers comes first, obviously, and always, and it should. So, all right. Well, what do you got for us this week? Well, I know we've had you know live feed reads for years, and they started off where I'd bring o bring on my you know, referral friends in the area to kind of promote their businesses and what services they offer. Um, you know, Paul has been taking the helm over the last several years talking about updates to the law or, or stories that touch on uh, various aspects of the law. And then I'll jump in every now and then talking about a local event usually or some to do in the area. Uh, but I had a thought recently, I wanted to take it another direction. And because I, I, I'm an avid podcast listener, I, I follow 50 YouTubers. Uh, and so I thought, not that I want to become that, but those things that touch on current events or philosophy, history, uh, esoteric lore, I, I love that. I was like, why can't, if something is, an, even quote, positive quotes of affirmation, yeah. if something's intriguing, let's talk about that. Well, yeah, it's interesting because yeah. the stuff that we hear all the time and we take in it naturally becomes a part of like how we live and what we do on a day-to-day -day basis so I, got, mm -hmm. I find it's absolutely relevant well we got jackie's read and read and read cup today a uh, nice manly no <laughs> all right so i found this quote and and i was thinking about it kind of before our networking uh, meeting on wednesday and it's short and sweet bill gates it says my success part of it certainly is that I focused in on only a few things. And I, you know, I, I was thinking about what that meant. Obviously, this man is one of the most successful in terms of, you know, economic wealth uh, that there is on the face of the earth. So yeah, he's up there. I, I, I don't think that's an unimportant statement. What, is, what, do you, what does that bring to mind? Well, I mean, it kind of makes me think of, honestly, in a, in, a, in a couple of ways, the education moment from our networking meeting that we were doing where I had taken the, uh, I bought these tubs of slime because I have four kids. I always <laughs> slime around to keep them. Kids love slime nowadays. Dude, they, love, they love it. So like I, I poured a bucket of the slime into one of the, one of the people's hands and kind of had them talk and have a conversation with the person in front of them, you know, eye contact, stay focused on what you're what you're trying to say and the relationship that you're building or talking. And then while they were talking, I like snuck over and grabbed the second bucket of slime and like dump, dump it in her hands. And suddenly the introduction of that chaos made it a whole lot harder for her to maintain focus. Well, it was already a, just, a, it was already a little difficult to, to have the conversation with just the one slime. Yeah. And then the second slime, she was basically laughing the whole time because it was so crazy. But so it was funny because that moment, all conversation stopped, all eye mm -hmm. contact stopped. It, it became about controlling the chaos and not about the conversation she was having prior. And it, it was funny and it was fun loving. I wasn't trying to like take a dig at anybody, but I think it drove that kind of point home that like sometimes when our focus moves from what we're what we're truly about at, to managing the chaos we stop making progress you know on the things that we're, we really wanted to make progress on um i don't know if that's what you took from it no no that's a, and i think that that fits nicely with the quote because it's about staying focused on a few things that are in your control i mean i got my mm -hmm. to-do list right here with 20 items look at that list i have a smaller to the uh, to-do list based off that to-do list for today uh you know and it, it's just sometimes i'll come into my office and i have 15 papers strewn about you know i have 50 to 80 to 100 emails 
I have 30 messages. I'm fielding, you know, 30 to 40 calls a day. And then sometimes a day will go by and I haven't crossed anything off either of these. Yeah. And I've been working quote unquote nonstop and I haven't moved, made any movement forward. It and so, yeah. yeah. And so oftentimes I have to kind of, you'll, I'll get into those points where that day becomes a week of that. And then I have to really kind of take a step back, self-evaluate and, and, and kind of laser focus and look, this, this is while I'm doing things, these aren't necessarily moving the yardstick forward. Mm. We have to find a way to, okay, on Monday, I'm not taking any calls. You know, I'm not looking at any emails. I'm focusing on just the to-do list. Tuesday, you know, I'm going to put the to-do list aside. I'm going to blow through a hundred emails. You know, Wednesday, I'm going to do nothing but client calls. And, and, and even though, you know, that those other aspects may be rising, I just focus on those specifics. And I find that at the end of that day, I don't feel that anxiety of today was not productive. It feels like, okay, got that done. And then by the end of a week of doing that, then I can, you know, rest easy on Friday night thinking, okay, this was a good week versus if you're if I'm trying to do a to-do list item, then I'm taking calls then I'm, it's just, it's much simpler. And I think more, what's the word? I'm looking satisfying to, to mm -hmm. stay simple rather than spreading yourself thin, trying to juggle two balls of slime and move forward. Yeah, for me that, and, and it, it also kind of brings to mind the question uh, when you've got so many things on your list and you obviously can't get to them all. Like I know you do and I do, you just shared your list with me. Sometimes I have to like, come up with a way of prioritizing things. And I feel like sometimes I get it right and sometimes I get it wrong. Like for me, my kids, being a father to all four of my kids is super, super important. And there are just all kinds of times I let something, you know, come in the way or, or I don't have time for this, I don't have time for that. And I'm like, you know what? I've just gotta clear this off and take them fishing. I gotta clear this yep. off and draw on the sidewalk with them for a couple of minutes. Cause like they, they need dad. And I can tell when they start to get like crazy mm -hmm. from like that lack of, a, of attention. And it, it to me, that's one of the things that I float to the top if I, and I start to feel that pull if I don't do it uh, ever so often. Do you have things that as far as like read and read or just you personally, Ryan, that, that you find slip on priority list that you have to like push back up? Yeah, yeah, and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, for the, if anyone's watching out there, Phil, what 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 sort of things do you guys find that slip to the bottom that you start feeling that sort of depression? Not in the clinical sense, but you know that sort of anxiety, or, or you're feeling like you're missing something that you have to bring back up. I'd like to you know hear hear about it. Put it in the comments. But certain things that I have to bring up are um, certainly I think maintaining relationships. I think that. We, you, sometimes when you've built a relationship, you kind of say, okay, this is, you know, we built house A, you know, my friendship with Joe Schmo, right? And now, now I can move along to house B and build that house with, with Tim Smith and then house C with, you know, Susie Q. But, you know, just like any homeowner or even if you're in an apartment knows, like you have to maintain upkeep. Houses require maintenance. So do humans, so do the people in your yeah. life. And so that's one of the things that I find, I start kind of getting down on myself is like, oh man, I haven't talked to my friend, you know, in a long time, you know, or, or man, I haven't, I haven't met with, you know, one of my referral partners in, in six months. I don't even know how they're doing in their life. Like this relationship, you know, in my mind, I like to think it still exists, but like you were saying earlier, the things that we take in with our senses, including our relationships with other people, they have to, they have to be maintained. And so that's, you know, then I find myself, okay, let me, let me set up three or four meetings with the people I like to network with this week. And let me, let me go, you know, play pickleball with my buddy and or play golf with that buddy on the weekend. And, and that I haven't seen in a while. Yep. Yeah. And then when I, when I, do that, you know, then I, I feel good, you know, not because not, not, maybe it's selfish. I don't know, but I feel like, you know, if you go into the building of the relationship as a service to others in the sense that, man, I want to find out how he's doing, making sure she's okay. Is there anything I can do to help them? What's their life like now? You know, that sort of service to others. Um, I think it, it at least makes me feel good at the end of the day. And 
that's something that I try, I slip and then I got to bring back. Uh, so that's yeah. just one example. Well, I, I always see you working to build those relationships and it doesn't surprise me that y'all's tagline is like having a lawyer in the family. Like you guys prioritize relationship building a lot in what you do rather than just churn and burn clients. And I, I come to appreciate that as much as I appreciate the fact that you have a hard stop time today and I want to respect that. Yes, yes. So I, I really, I got to go build a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I really appreciate you taking the time, you know, to do these and be consistent and be regular with us. And yeah, if you guys have stuff that you feel slips, like put it in the comments down below. We'd love to hear it. We'll interact with you over that ryan before we call an end to it any last words anything you want to say for the weekend no no i just think uh it's it's now uh you know one one fifteen one uh today you still have three hours to maybe even plan for next week if you had a week where you feel like you didn't get anything done spend the next three hours prioritizing your days monday i'm gonna work on this tuesday i'm gonna work on that and then by the end of next friday see if by focusing on a few things each day or even one thing in a day by the end of that week if you didn't feel a little bit better at least it works for me everyone has their own routine but that's all i got and father's day is sunday so shout out to paul he's oh yeah able to be on the stream today but happy birthday dad <laughs> Oh no, it's not his birthday. Father. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Dad. <laughs> it all works. It all. His birthday. His birthday's coming up. I was thinking about his present. <laughs> yeah. No, it's all good. Yeah. And if you guys are doing something special for Father's Day, put that in the comments too. Mm -hmm. and with that, I guess we'll go ahead and pull it to a close. You guys have a great weekend, and we're out. Uh